It was just two weeks ago that police reported an apparent robbery and shooting death of a male and the injury of another as they stood in Road Town. In light of this and other recent burglaries affecting businesses in the Main Street area, business owners got together in a meeting to discuss the crime problem. JTV News' Walter Barrett brings us this report from the event. Several concerned business owners and representatives from various businesses throughout Main Street and Road Town converged at the Anglican Church on Main Street to discuss with members of the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force what steps need to be taken to combat the rise in criminal activities throughout the area. Several concerns were raised throughout the course of the meeting by those who came out to show their resolve to tackle the crime issue. And Police Commissioner Raynell Fraser, along with Deputy Police Commissioner David Morris and all other law enforcement personnel present at Thursday evening's meeting, got to hear firsthand what the Main Street business owners' thoughts were on the matter. How is the response to your request for funding? Uh, and I don't see any current appearance here, but I see a lot of aspiring ones. And, uh, hopefully, 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 they take the message. <laughs> All security provider, camera, video, etc. Suggested that those lightings that are out in the park, the few that are working, which is really appalling, it needs to be a different type of lighting because it's, I think he said sulfur and it should be white light because you get better imaging of whoever the object may be that you're focusing on. So therefore, as a community, I think, again, we have to press on whoever the authority may be on this, and I am understanding it's the district representative that we need to get um, proper I was just going to ask, why do we in 2011 still have a system where you're calling the fire station to get to the police station? But by the time you were finished, I was feeling so sorry for you that really and truly I don't want to ask that question at all. <laughs> During the meeting, Sergeant Fraser presented some statistics on how many crimes have been committed in Main Street and how many arrests have been made to date, some of which are still awaiting trial regarding their particular offences. I have researched some information pertaining to the number of crimes or burglaries that have been committed in Main Street and its end runs. That's, we're looking at Russell's Hill, uh, the waterfront area and just areas surrounding. Because if we look directly at Main Street only, we'll be looking between the last three years of four to one robberies and eight robberies that have been committed in the direct Main Street area. But if we go to if we look at its entrance just beyond like like Russell Hill uh, parts of Wickenski One, that number goes up to 78 robberies and 18 robberies, robberies. It's in the last three years? In the last three years. We look at the statistics from 209 to present. In those three years, for the robberies, the police have made eight arrests. Deputy Police Commissioner David Morris also spoke during Thursday's meeting about the limitations that the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force are currently faced with, as well as some of the plans that the force has for the near future, which include a quick response control room that will aid officers in responding to calls in a much shorter time period than they presently do. As part of the CCTV project, we're actually putting a control room in. We're upgrading all the radios. We're uh, having to change our repeater towers because, of course, we've got lots of spots where we can't, the radios don't work for one reason or another. So we're having to change all the repeater, repeater towers, get more radios, improve the radio system, get the officers to use radios because we need to retrain them all into radios because the force has become so reliant on mobile phones. So that when we get, and we're, we're uh, picking up through um, town and country planning, they've got a, a GIS system, GIS mapping system which we're going to buy it as well. But it costs money. I think the license is about $6,000. Right? Now all of this we're having to find out an existing budget. There's no money, additional money for this. We're having to make do and pull things together. From the mapping system in the control room, we're able to see where all our offices are because all our cars are getting equipped with GPRS signaling devices. So we know where the cars are. 
So whenever we want to call a car, regardless of whether you're West End, East End, Road Town, whatever, nearest vehicle will attend. Now that's the plan. So, and I'm hoping to get that, all of that in place by the, year, by the end of this year, beginning next year. Persons present on Thursday were encouraged to use the Crime Stoppers hotline to report any activity that they suspect to be criminal in nature, and photographs of convicted and suspected burglars in the Main Street, Rotown area were shown to the business owners to make them aware of persons that may be of interest in the area, should they be seen loitering around or acting in any suspicious manner. Although the police made it clear that Thursday's meeting was only a start to bringing an end to the crime situation in Main Street, it was a sign that all those affected by the issue are ready to take a stand against it. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.